Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this system of two equations and we are going to solve this. Here we got x square equal to y plus 3 and the second equation is y square equals to x plus 3 and make sure that x is not equal to y. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and subtract equation two from equation one. And here are our equations one and two. Let's go ahead and subtract the second one. So let me go ahead and change the sign. This become negative 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 so we got x square minus y square equal to y minus x this positive 3 and negative 3 is gone and now on the left hand side we got difference of two squares so this could be factored out as x minus y times x plus y by using this uh, difference of two squares formula and on the right hand side y minus x could be written as negative if I bring that sign outside so this simply become x minus y let's go ahead and move this one on the left hand side so we got x minus y times x plus y and this simply become plus x minus y equal to 0 and now we can see that x minus y and x minus y is in common so I can factor x minus y outside in the parentheses we got x plus y and then plus 1 equal to 0 and now we got two factors we can break them down I can write this one as x minus y equal to 0 or the other one is going to be x plus y plus 1 equal to 0 and here we got x equal to y and here we got x plus y equals to negative 1 and here we can see that x equal to y this cannot be possible because x is not supposed to be equal to y so therefore we are going to reject this scenario so therefore we got x plus y equals to negative 1 and here's our next step let's go ahead and add equation 1 and 2 and here are our equations 1 and 2 let's go ahead and add them so when we add them we are going to get x square plus y square equal to this is going to become x plus y 3 plus 3 is going to become plus 6 and now we can see this x plus y equals to negative 1 so here I am going to replace this x plus y by negative 1 so therefore I can write x square plus y square and x plus y is being replaced by negative 1 and then plus 6 so that means our x square plus y square value is simply positive 5 and now in this next step let's recall this a plus b square formula so in terms of x plus y square so this could be written as x square plus y square and then plus 2 times x y and here this x plus y I can replace it by negative 1 here x square plus y square I'm going to replace it by 5 so this could be written as negative 1 square equal to 5 plus 2 times x y so negative 1 square is same as 1 equals to 5 plus 2 x y let's move this 5 on the other side so this become 1 minus 5 equals to 2 x y now let's go ahead and divide both side by 
2 to isolate xy so xy turns out to be simply negative 2 value and now let's recall this a minus b square formula so in terms of x minus y we can write x minus y square could be written as x square plus y square minus 2 times x y and here we can see that this x square plus y square I am going to replace it by 5 and this x times y I am going to replace it by negative 2 so therefore I can write x minus y square equal to 5 minus 2 times negative 2 so therefore x minus y square turns out to be 9 let's go ahead and take the square root on both side to undo this square so this and this is gone so x minus y turns out to be positive or negative 3 value and here's our case 1 we are going to pick this positive 3 value and we are going to solve for x and y and we also know that our x plus y value is negative 1 so let me just write down x plus y equals to negative 1 let's go ahead and add these two equations positive and negative y they cancel each other out so we got 2x equal to positive 2 let's divide both sides by 2 so our x value turns out to be positive 1 and once again let's focus on this equation x plus y equal to negative 1 and we know our x value is 1 let's plug it over here 1 plus y equals to negative 1 let's move this 1 on the other side so y turns out to be negative 1 and minus 1 so that means y equals to negative 2 value so that means our x value is 1 and its corresponding y value is negative 2 and here's our case 2 this time we are going to pick x minus y equals to negative 3 value now let's repeat the same process we know x plus y equals to negative 1 let's go ahead and add them they are gone so we got 2x equal to negative 4 so that means our x value turns out to be negative 2 and now we are going to plug this x equal to negative 2 value in this equation x plus y equals to negative 1 and here if we simplify this thing our y value turns out to be 1 so therefore our second set of solution turns out to be x equal to negative 2 and its corresponding y value is 1 and here are our those two solution x equal to 1 and y equals to negative 2 and the other solution is x equal to negative 2 and y equals to 1 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye